Fellow here with the dragons, Ryan McKinney and Ken Adams. We're uh, opening a sealed pool right now of Zendikar, or not Zendikar. It looks like Innistrad. Zendikar. Right? Innistrad. <laughs> yeah. We got a sealed pool of Innistrad for the pre-release. Yeah. Doesn't look like anything crazy across artifacts. Oh, dude. <laughs> Two rare lands. Not so good. Um, scavenger. Slings. Grave Brambles. The green looks the green pretty, looks really, 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 yeah, that's, really that's bad. bad. Um, Scourge. Uh, Scourge. That Scourge guy's been pretty good every time I've played with it. The Pyroclasm. I like that card, and it's something you can build your deck. Not not around, but you have to build the, the cards you put in your deck around it a little bit. Yeah. Brimstone Volley's good. Nightbird's uh, Clutches is fine. As a favorite Harvest, card. Harvest Pyre. Two it's Geist Flame. Removal spell. Geist Flame is actually a card that... When I first played this set, I, I didn't put one in my main deck. Oh my. And, uh. <laughs> now you wish you did. That was definitely the wrong choice. There's a lot of one toughness <laughs> dorks in this format. Yeah, that's for sure. That's almost like an auto include. Just from playing with it so far, uh. Black is extremely weak. Uh. That's a trip civilized scholar over there? Yes, uh, we have Sturmgrass. That's that pretty sad. That, that the rare. Pretty sad. That's power. Yeah, power and toughness equal to the cards that's in your a, hand. That's a pretty big bomb rare. We got the the bonus to uh, attacking on the battleground gaze. Makeshift Mauler is a really solid dude. Uh, Stitch Drake. Stitch Drake is I love that player. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, this there's is even a, an alchemy here too. Oh, crackling, crackling counterpart. <laughs> Pretty good. All right. There, um, there's a there's an alchemy here too to set those guys up. Oh, an alchemy. Um, I don't want to be playing that dream twist. No, probably not. The double double um, of secrets makes me want to go crazy, but uh, th I mean, think twice. I don't think we're. I don't think we're pro probably not getting into that. Not Delver, think twice. Um. It's so you also have the alabaster. The other uh, half anthem. So there's guy. possible of blue white spirits here. Oh, and then you have the the, the angel that returns spirit cards. Is that random or is it you get to choose? Nah, it's a choose one. Return, okay. That's pretty good. Double Slayer of the Wicked, double smite. Smite. Oh, Slayer of the Wicked, that, yep. Unruly Mom is pretty voice, bad. Voice of Spirits. I don't mind. Uh, okay, this guy seems fine. like a. Yeah, I can. Uh, Check the human count. Yeah, obviously. Like, the better, the the better, the better it is. Exorcism is in. Yeah. Your Exorcism is mostly just a cyborg card, it's, right? It's yeah. It's fine if you need like a twenty third. Well, I mean, like, it's a good board card. Blue -white it's, it's, looks pretty it's strong. It's like a celestial purge type card. I think we might. Uh, do we have the, the the? I don't think we have the one mana fixer. We might have even made, have made like red possibly splashable, but uh, definitely playing blue. Yeah, blue's definitely making it. Do you like lost in the mist? Um. Yeah, I, I mean You're, generally, yeah, I might not play it main deck. It might be better on your deck. Okay, yeah, it's, it's we'll, we'll drag. We'll drag it down. Like if. Crackling counterpart, yeah. If you can never get any kind of board parity scenario, it's really good. It doesn't fight, yeah. I mean, against weak players, it gets great. you out of situations from behind, too. Yeah. This is mid. You want, no, probably not this guy. Okay. You can, uh, you can definitely. put it there. Like we, there, there, we do want to self mill ourselves a little here. Yeah. Uh, definitely. The triple civilized mm -hmm. scholar should really help with the okay. stitch guys. Um, do we get both? Oh, we missed stitch break. Tree. Dissipate's got a good chance of making it. Fortress Crab is fine. Okay. What is that? I just want to put them all in now and possibly pull them out later then. So th yeah, we can do that. Uh, I'll uh, put the Occultist in then as well, the one that mills one card. Uh, what are the lands over there, actually? There were some, some pretty colorful ones. Cliff Trap. Oh, oh, they're both actually the red splash. <laughs> that's perfect, because we wanted to splash that's, the red. That, that's actually really awesome. Ice Flame is a little more awkward off the splash. Is it possible <coughs> that it be a white splash instead of a red splash? Maybe. Um, all our white spells are single white right now. So we have and they're angle, all like more mid to late game spells. Yellows. So it might smite, just be actually smite. like a main color blue, and they're like almost a chop between red and white. Slayer. Abby Griffin. Possibly the Cathar. Plus Depending on our human count, probably the Cathar. Right? The dread. That card's fine. Yeah, I might play that one as well. Especially because you, yeah, I mean, we'll but be able to flash it back. Put the Cathar there. The Cathar there for now. He might end up cutting it later. Okay. Um, More of the red cards we really want to get in here. Guys, flames. Uh, Brimstone Valley. Brimstone Valley. Um, the Pyre probably. 
Uh, the is that the uh, pyre? Oh yeah, the one where you remove cards. Yeah. Um, possibly the, the pyroclasm. Into the wall. Huh? Uh, I really like the pyroclasm. The rolling tremble. Yeah. Okay, we'll add that. I'll add it for now. Um, scourge, possibly depending on how heavy red we want to get into this. The which card? Um, scourge, rage thrower, and into the mall. The top, all uh, three of the top ones. This guy. Um, yeah. This is probably a night, not a nightbird clutches deck. No. And uh, the the other card is I think nightbird clutches anyway. Yeah, N nightbird uh, clutches definitely. The aggro. blue white tapper. Yeah. Well, we can look across oh, the CMC it. Okay. 31, that's a, that's a lot. That's a lot, guys. Let's see. Is there anything in blue we want to get rid of? Probably. Definitely not the Drake. Possibly a call. I'm going to cut down a little to make the colors work. That too, yep. Um, the white was all the pretty much stuff that we're definitely playing, it looks like. Yeah, they all seem really strong. So it needs to the be flyers. staying alive a little bit, too. Yeah. The Civilized Scholar is not exactly a good uh, defensive guy. That's interesting how they do the split cards, yeah. since we hadn't even looked at it yet. Um, Crab's probably making this deck, too. When I look at it. Just for the yeah defensive. For the butt. Oh, for the butt. Big old butt. Uh, end of the mall might not. Yeah, it's exactly might, might have to board it. Might have to come out with a double red. Yeah. Um, the scourge is probably good enough where we still play it maybe with a double red. This guy? I don't know. It's close. This um, rage thrower is not even great in this good. deck. No, nah, I, I agree. Rage thrower, but this deck and this deck is isn't as well. Too slow for him. Yeah. Probably the cell off occultist gets uh gets cut here. Okay. Well, there is a two three. He's one of our guys with power that he can play on turn three. Yeah. Very true. It's kind of good. What, you think uh, what are all our threes do here? Dissipate might have to go. Oh, okay. Well, there's no way... Actually, the loss and miss might... No. Yeah, I think the Dissipate has to go. There's too many threes that we're yeah, playing on turn three that we don't want to leave our turn three open. I mean, it can be bad. It can be fine later in the game, but... Definitely. Um, the guitar, maybe. But possibly uh, not. What's our human count? I mean, he's playable without humans. But um, we don't have a lot of early creatures. Uh, those are all, the, so the, the three scholars are humans. We basically have no early creatures for him to die and trade on anything with, right, for him so to like trade and get a counter out of. So he might just have to go. Yeah, and t like you, it, it would have to be after turn three before you trade with something. We probably gotta get rid of some of these fives. Yeah. Probably lost in mist. That's I really want to play, but. Yeah, so it seems like a very crazy. Uh, Tempo card and draft. I don't know about sealed, but uh, I'm sure it's just as good usually. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure we want all three or four, all four of the flyers. I don't know if any of those. So are without cuttable. that, scourge like, is, is the most cuttable of those. Like we have the two rares. They're both insane, crazy. right? Isn't it, isn't that guy like a? He's a draw on next turn. Whenever, yeah, yeah. Oh, whenever he deals damage, draw a card. It's. Uh, I have not seen this yeah. card in play yet, so I didn't know that you drew a card. It's a magpie. That's still pretty good. Yeah. It's a magpie that can also be big. With the angel, like, these three five drops get returned, which is... With the civilized creature, scholars have a little more leeway on playing expensive guys, too, as we can pitch them. That's true. Especially with, well, because of the angel. And, like, yeah, if we're stuck on mana as well. So if we cut that, we're down to 24... And like the red, the red splashes are all in removal, which means you know if we don't have the red early, it's still okay. Yeah. Um, as long as we get to three mana, we're generally good with this deck having all those. I think scholars. so too. Do uh, I don't know. Do we cut one of the removal spells? I don't think we, they're not a removal per se, but like the feeling of dread or a smite the monstrous maybe. Maybe a smite. That's at least impressive with this. Yeah. I mean, harvest like the harvest pyre is good. The guys, I feel your red is not amazing in this deck, but it seems hard for me not to want to play that card. Yeah, which one? Smite. Feeling of dread. I'd probably cut a smite here if you got to cut one. Yeah, I know. Um, re as either release or pre-release weekend, that uh, uh, this card I'm, actually was. The good only thing I'm worried about right now is we're a little low on creatures. To that, so it's actually looting them away is kind of hard. Which one's that? Um, with our like we're low on creatures. 
So At least the feeling losing them away for the stitch guys is. Oh, for the for little. these guys. Five oh, hits. Are off. there any more spells we can cut for creatures? Um. Possibly. I'm not sure though. A guy's flame might be cuttable. I could see that. Yeah, definitely. I like the card. And something else. Yeah, we're taking just taking all our early game out. Then I don't think we can do that. Unless you put in a low drop. Yeah. Like the, like you said before, I like the unruly mobs are not really that good. It's pretty bad. Yeah. Um. There you go. I don't believe the only other card we have would we be the. Two. I think our only Katarn. our only other two is a uh, Ashmount Pound. Our neonate's fine too, but not in this deck. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize we had a hound, but uh, he's good. But he's a little awkward in our. In that okay. color. I mean, both the red and lighter splashes. We might be fine. I with him. Like that. I hate playing Possibly really drops off of splashes, but uh, I, I think you can throw him in. As opposed to the guy's flame. Yeah, yeah, take cut a guy's flame for him. Okay, I mean these are only true two drops you know, as well. Guy's flame is amazing. Yeah, I agree. Just lots of removal on this deck. So you got those. You have smite. The slayer. Odds are, in this format, well, hopefully, is a removal spell. And he's a he's a total blowout on werewolves. I know that. All right, what's the actual man in here now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven white. Seven white. One, two, three, four, five. Five red. Five red. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah. And fourteen blue. So probably one. The white and the red. Definitely playing both shop in here. All right, so I'm gonna add from here. Let's see. What, Click right. the magic suggest. The, the suggest yeah. button. Yeah. <laughs> three mountains, that seems like a lot with the double duel. Um, that's probably, I think we need at least three. Really? I think that's fine. Uh, Actually, I think the suggest button might be what I play here. With four and three? Four and three. I, I want at least five of each source. Uh, yeah, I that could make sense. Our, our red cards are earlier, like our cards we need earlier in the game. The that's true, cards. the removal, yeah. Um, eight blue with 14. You, might be, you can probably cut a blue for something here. Uh, With the sulfur falls in there, so that's still good. Just eight blue sources. Eight blue sources, yeah. Another planes, then possibly. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. Okay. There's still more white sources, even though I want the red sources earlier. Okay. That seems fine. I think that's fine. I don't think our mana base is the worst. <clears throat> All right. I agree. Um. Anything else we want to? Right, I think this is, uh, this is the deck we're starting with. We need to discuss what name we're going to call this column. Actually. We should do that. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I mean, we are dragons. Dragons. <laughs> dragons yeah. I'm not, not going to call it like the dragons. <laughs> not dope. Bears. Dragons in outer space. <laughs> dragons in outer space. All right. Well, if anyone's watching the forums and we haven't named the column yet, you should name it there. Yeah. Or give us ideas. We can always change it after the scene as it's like the first week as well. But, uh. All right. We're going back to our McFlurries and waiting for round one. Yep. We'll see you guys when we get back for round one.